In Gayla's day begins at four in the morning. After her morning rituals, she goes out to fetch water for her neighbours. She earns close to two dollars. She is back in the house at 6.30 to get her children ready for school. Between 9 and 12.30, Engela and her smallest child, who is one and a half years old, goes in search for a job washing clothes around her neighbourhood. She earns just over four dollars. On the way home, she stops at the market to buy food for her children. Two bags of maize meal and some beans. This comes to just over four dollars. She also picks up her seven-year-old son from school. Shortly before one o'clock, she is at home preparing lunch for her two oldest children. They will be home between one and two. At two o'clock, she goes back to the market to buy fruits to sell by the roadside outside her house. She spends three dollars. If she sells everything, the profit may come to one dollar. Ingela hopes to finish selling by five when her older children will be back again from school. They take care of the smaller ones and do the little remaining chores, whilst Ingela goes out to collect firewood and buy kerosene for cooking and for the lamp in their home. Ingela returns home by six in the afternoon to cook dinner for her family and to do her remaining housework. Ingela's monthly expenses are $140. Every month she earns between $120 and $140. There is nothing to put in the savings account, and she accumulates debt at the food store. Ingela does casual labour for 8 to 12 hours, 7 days a week. Although she works hard, she cannot afford things like bread and milk. Her children are at high risk of malnutrition. If she or any of her children fall sick, it can be fatal. Their life can easily be thrown out of balance, as she cannot afford even the subsidised price of medication. She will depend on donations and well-wishers in such an emergency. Engela is trapped in a circle of poverty. Engela has faith in God. She has a dream. She would like to see her children well-educated. She plans to open a cereal business. This will improve her income. She would like to improve the living standards of her family. However, there is no money. We would like to help Engela break out of the poverty circle. How? Let's introduce a changemaker. A goat. The goat is hosted in a community farm for Engela. She goes there twice a month to learn about good farming practices. Milk from the goat supplements her family's diet and selling goat's milk increases her income. For the first time, she can start saving. Twice a month, she attends the Mato Kio Training Centre. Here, she learns about a number of key enablers for business success. She also takes basic computer courses. After 15 months, Ingele graduates. Her savings have increased, and so have the goats. She takes them with her minus one female goat which is given to another girl joining the programme. When Angela opens her cereal stand at the local market, she earns around $260 a month, and she only works eight hours a day. With this new income, she can afford a better diet for her children, and she can move to a house that has electricity and better sanitation. She can also afford to pay basic health insurance and give her family nutritious meals. Engele joins the monthly Mato Kio alumni meeting. It has keynote speakers and business mentors teaching entrepreneurship. The meetings foster networking, where Engele can meet potential customers and get fresh business ideas. The alumni also discuss how poverty can be eradicated and how to raise living standards in the community. One goat changed it all for Engele.